So as I explained earlier, in the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, it does put a responsibility on the employer to make sure that they're doing everything they can to keep people safe in the workplace. So that would include recording any accidents or near misses um, so that they can take a look at those have a look if there's any trends and make improvements so that we can reduce the amount of accidents that are happening. It may be a case that actually a piece of equipment or activity needs to stop happening so that these accidents don't continue. So the type of information that you might need when filling in an accident form would be the name of the casualty, the date that they had the accident and the time and the location. You'd need to have a description of what they have injured and where on the body they have injured and what treatment you gave and any advice you may have given them. You also need to make a note of what happened to them after the incident. So after you've treated them, have they gone home to rest? Have they gone back to work? Or have they actually had to go to an ambulance or has an ambulance had to come and pick them up to take them to hospital? If a casualty has gone to hospital, so a member of the public that has visited your building, you've had to call an ambulance or they've gone directly to hospital and it's not just a precaution, that would also mean that a riddle form would need to be filled in. So a riddle is reporting of injuries, diseases and dangerous occurrence regulations. Now this is a form that is reported to the HSE, so your Health and Safety Executive, um, for anything serious. So if somebody was to lose consciousness, to stop breathing, any serious breaks, then that would be riddle reportable and also any other serious incidences in the workplace. So in order to fill out a riddle form, you would need to have a clearly written accident report form. Now each workplace is different. That may be a paper form for your accident or it may be an electronic and that may go to a central hub where a health and safety team will do that for you. Otherwise, usually in-house management will usually do a riddle form. So just remember, once you've filled in an accident form, these will hold people's personal details. So these need to be kept in line with the UK's GDPR regulations. So basically, this means that they need to be kept secure so that no one else can have access to them. So under your Health and Safety at Work First Aid Provisions 1981, as we said, it requires you to think about lots of things with regards to your first aid provisions. And one of those would be what you will have as a first aid kit. So there is a standard recommendation as a first aid kit, which I'm just going to show you now. So you would have triangular bandages in there. You'd have a couple of different size uh, bandages for wounds and bleeding. You'd have some plasters in there. You would have a guidance card, just showing you some basic information on first aid. You will have some gloves an eye bandage and there may be some other bits and pieces in there as well but they are the main main standard kit when you carry out your first aid risk assessment you may find that you will need more than the standard first aid kit and that might be based on incidents accidents that have happened previously it may be the activities that are happening in the building um, that may make you think that you need some different types of kit so some examples of those would be ice packs. So for example, if you work in the leisure industry uh, where there's lots of sport, sports happening, then there might be lots of muscle and ligament damages that might require some ice packs. You may have some eye wash in there. If someone has anything in their eye, then you can use some eye wash. You may also have some antiseptic wipes. So ideally we'd use water if we have it available, but it's not always that easy. Um, and sometimes these are really convenient to take to a casualty if they can't get themselves to somewhere where you have fresh water. You may also have some scissors in there as well as some microporous tape for covering wounds, along with um, some gauzes as well.